Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss for the example quadratic situation. So by using the algebraic method, I'm going to determine whether the function is 1 to 1 or not. So given fx is equal to bracket x minus 1 bracket square. So now I'm going to fx sub 1 is equal to fx sub 2. Then I'm going to substitute the equation which is x sub 1 minus 1 bracket square equals to x sub 2 minus 1 bracket square. Next, I'm going to simplify the situation where we will have x sub 1 minus 1 equals to square root of plus minus x sub 2 minus 1 bracket square. So for this case, x sub 1 will be equal to plus minus square root of x sub 2 minus 1 square plus 1. So where x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2. So for this case, which is a quadratic, the fx equals to x minus 1 square is not a 1 to 1 function reason x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2 so this also shows that f inverse for this case does not exist So now I'm going to use the graphical method to determine whether the following function is 1 to 1 or not. So for the cases of quadratic, we need to sketch the graph. In order to sketch the graph, we need to undergo several steps. Step number 1 refers to the function and determine the shape. If for this case, it is a standard form where a x plus h square plus k. By referring to the function, in here, the a is equal to 1. a is greater than 0, meaning that the shape will be u-shape. Second step is to determine the intercept for x-axis and y-axis. So in order to, in, to determine the x-intercept, when y equals to 0, so we will have 0 equals to x minus 1 square so x will be equals to 1 so the coordinate will be 1 0 for the x intercept next we're going to determine the y intercept when x equals to 0 so y will be equals to 0 minus 1 bracket square so my y will be equals to 1. So the coordinate will be 0 and 1. Step number 3, we have the standard form. So in this case, fx is equal to x minus 1 bracket square. So in here, our minimum point will be 1 and 0. Where we can get the 1 and 0? So, by referring to the standard form, in this case, a equals to 1, k is equals to 0. So, x minus 1 equals to 0, x will be equals to 1. So, that will be our coordinate. And k will be the value for y. So, in this case, y is equals to 0. So, our minimum point is 1, 0. Symmetrical axis. So for this case, the symmetry axis will be x equals to 1. So now we're going to sketch the graph. So first, by referring to the shape, so we have a U shape. Second, we're going to plot the interception. So for the x-intercept, 
the point will be 1, 0. So in this case, we assume that 1 is over here, 1, 0. For the y-intercept, it will be 0, 1. So here will be the location. Next, we have a minimum point, which is equal to 1, 0. Then finally, we have a symmetric axis. X equals to 1. So finally, we can sketch the graph. So this will be our graph. Fx is equal to x minus 1 bracket square. So now I'm going to determine whether the function is 1 to 1 or not. By using the graphical method, we need the horizontal line test. So in this case, the horizontal line will be red in color. So I will simply just draw a line which is parallel to x-axis or we can say a horizontal line. So in this case, we notice that we have intersection on the left hand side and right hand side. So for this case, is the function 1 to 1 or not? So the answer is no. So fx, which is equal to x minus 1 square, is not a 1 to 1 function. reason it cuts more than one point so meaning that f inverse does not exist so here we are and thanks for watching